<clears throat> Welcome to Sculptural Design. I am your host and teacher, Mr. Schaumeyer. <laughs> So I, I do want to kind of do a brief overview of some of the projects and uh, units that we'll be covering in this class. I know it's going to be a bit different than it normally would because we don't have a regular class laboratory, right? Um, so we'll do the best we can, but I do want to share, of course, um, you know, some of the units and some of the main points of them, okay? Uh, we are going to be covering... Um, a unit on prototyping and you know basic model making where we have a task that we need to accomplish using a very limited supply of materials. In the past we did these little ride vehicles and you know we came up with some paper wire and kind of assembled some junk together and it was kind of a lot of fun. I have a little something different for this term though. We move into talking about sculptural stability uh, and with that we use wire. Now wire by itself is very flimsy, it, it doesn't stand on its own, um, and so that's why we start to learn how to manipulate uh, a material such as wire so that it does actually stand and it actually does have form that is three-dimensional. Okay, this is a little hand, all right, some other stuff, you know, trees, okay. So once we have the main concept of um, looking at something in space, we can start to explore clay. Uh, the bulk of the term will be using the chunk of clay that you're provided. Now it's going to be difficult to, uh, to really get the full effect of working with clay because we can't fire it and glaze it and those are part of the ceramic curriculum. Uh, but what we can do is talk about um, all the properties of clay, how it dries, how you can work with it at different stages, um, working on a sculpture in the full round, why it's important to hollow it out. We'll be talking about texture and creating like little landscapes. Uh, and one of the sections is also on uh, working with um, relief sculpture, kind of like flat sculptures. Now, of course, these have been fired and that's something that we can't really do for this term. But still, learning those um, how to sculpt in clay is extremely important. And as we'll be exploring theme, we'll be exploring um, architecture and culture and whatnot. For that, um, it's going to rely a lot on materials that you find around the house, or you know maybe you might go out and buy some for a specific reason. But it's going to be more about model making and um, presenting a proposal of a, of a space. Um, you know, this is an example of some students who had a public space and they made a small model using multiple materials. Uh, so as you can see, there's a lot we can do, even at home. Even though we're not doing a full-blown ceramics course, uh, we are doing maybe something even better. We're learning how to design in sculpture. <laughs>